Our composition card illustrates three creative choices. How to frame, crop, and place your subject. To frame your subject, hold your camera horizontal, vertical, or tilted. Here you can see a subject photographed horizontally, vertically, and with the camera tilted. To crop your subject, zoom your lens or change your distance from the subject. You can see the picture of the car here. It's showing a lot of space around the car and then it's zoomed in for just a section of the car. With the picture of the person, you can see its full length and then zoomed in for a head and shoulders. So you can do this either by zooming your lens or by moving farther or closer to your subject. A lot of people think of cropping as something you do with photo software after taking the picture. You can actually do it when taking the photo and knowing how to frame, crop, and place your subject actually helps you when you are working with it in photo software afterwards as well. To place your subject, we suggest using the rule of thirds. Placing your subject on the top or bottom third, left or right third, or at an intersection where the top and bottom left and right third lines cross each other. You can place your subject in the top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right intersection of the top and bottom left and right one third lines. Composition is a combination of these three creative choices. Framing your subject, horizontal, vertical, or tilted, zooming back to show a lot of area, or zooming in to crop in on your subject, and placing your subject on the one-third lines will make a big difference in your photograph. This is just one of the cards in the Call Creative Choices Quick Reference Cards. You can download the whole set of cards as an app or PDF to your cell phone, tablet, or computer. If you'd like to learn how to see creatively, using the Call Creative cards will help you develop your creative eye to help you take amazing photographs. Call, C-A-L-L, -L, stands for the four creative fundamentals, composition, angle, lighting, and lens perspective. Each creative fundamental has three creative choices that you can combine together in different combinations. Combining the creative choices together creates a creative fundamental. Combining the creative fundamentals together creates a photograph. It's kind of like music where you combine three notes to create a chord and then combine the chords to create a song. One of the great things about the Call Creative Choices is that they will work with any camera, including cell phone and video cameras. The composition card illustrates how to frame, crop, and place your subject. The angle card illustrates how to walk around your subject and look at different camera heights and tilts. The lighting card illustrates type of light, time of day, and camera angle to the light. The Lens Perspective card illustrates how the distance from your subject and lens zoom will expand or compress your subject area. Practicing these creative choices until they become a natural reaction will help you learn how to see creatively and develop your creative eye. In addition to these four cards which help you learn about the creative choices, we also have a quick reference card to help remind you of your creative choices when taking photographs. This quick reference card not only helps inspire you when taking photographs, it also helps you review your photographs' creative choices after taking them. You can also use it to study other photographers' work and the creative choices they made and the different combinations they use when taking their photographs. The Creative Study Card illustrates how using different combinations of creative choices will help you create really unique photographs. Changing your creative choices can give you completely different photographs of your subject. We also include a card with 52 photography ideas, one for each week of the year, that you can do for fun or just to exercise your creativity. You can also do photography challenges with your family and friends to see who can come up with the most interesting photos of the subject for that week. You can see who can take the most creative photograph, the most interesting one, of a circle or a shoe or a watch or whatever the subject is for that week and you can send them back and forth on your cell phone or upload them to the internet to share them there. One of the fun things is to upload the image and then tell the story of how you came to take the photograph and the different creative choices you use when photographing it. If you'd like to share your photographs online and chat with other photographers, you can join our Facebook group. The link to our Facebook group is on our downloads page at easyphotoclass.com as well as in the information below this video. If you'd like to go deeper and learn more about the creative side of photography, you may want to take a look at our Creative Photography Made Easy workshop at easyphotoclass.com by clicking on Workshops in the website menu. This creative workshop goes more in-depth on how to learn how to see creatively, including how to find great lighting and perspective to take your photography to a whole new level. 
The Creative Photography Made Easy Workshop is a great gift if you know somebody who loves taking photographs and would like to learn how to see creatively. When you buy the gift version of a workshop, we send you an email with the download link in it that you can forward to the person you're giving it to on their birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, you know, whatever event, or just the fact you want to be nice and send them the workshop. They simply click the link in the email to download the workshop. To download the Call Creative Choices Quick Reference Cards, simply click on Downloads in the menu at our website, easyphotoclass.com. You can then click on our Call Creative Choices download to download the PDF version of the cards. While you're there, you may also want to download our exposure settings and camera and lens buying downloads as well. After downloading, you can usually find the PDF in your computer's downloads folder. You can view the Call Creative Cards PDF on your computer and print out the pages on your printer to study and carry with you in your camera bag. It does have multiple pages that you can view as you scroll down. You can also download and view the PDF pages on your cell phone or tablet as well. To view the PDF pages on an Android cell phone or tablet, you'll need to click on Apps, Tools, My Files, Downloads, and click on Documents to find the PDF and click on it to open it. Once you find the PDF, you can actually move it out of the folder and onto one of your pages where you have your other apps. The Call Creative Choices Quick Reference Cards are also available as an app on the Google Play Store. If you scroll down our website's download page, you'll find the link to the app. With iPhones, you can find the PDF by searching for PDFs in the Finder or the Files folder. Holding your cell phone or tablet sideways will give you a larger image, and if you want to make it even larger, you can do the thing where you spread your thumb and index finger on the screen to make it larger as well. Links to the download section at easyphotoclass.com and the Google Play Store are in the information below this video. I hope you enjoy using the Call Creative Cards to learn how to see creatively and take amazing photographs and, and just have more fun with your photography. If you enjoyed this video, click like, click share to share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to see more great videos like it. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay creative, and I'll talk with you soon.